When we were thinking of places that we wanted to get married, it seemed kind of right for us to come out to Michigan and get married on the farm. So many Fishbecks had been married out here before us and it just felt pretty special to us to get here. And so we decided to get married over here at Murray Lake and the lakes here in the background. And the farm was established in the 1800s. And this tree here is where we'll have our ceremony. We had a number of choices around the farm to get married and we decided that the old oak tree, which has been here since the farm started, was pretty perfect. It was funny when Dad asked us where we were going to get married and we told him the old oak tree and he said, oh, well that's a good place to get married and get buried. And I asked him if somebody was buried out here and he said one of the first Murrays was buried at this tree, but he's since been moved, so at least we don't have to worry about him here with us. We hope they got all of them. We hope he got all of them. There might be a little hand. To Stephanie, he has shown himself concealed beneath a stoic veneer. His one pure, true form, like nothing else, will love you deeply for all his years. To Murray, she has given her heart with joy, her love, affection, and warmth. Their two souls shall never away part, thankful to be together henceforth. So it was through a coworker of mine I would invite uh, new employees out to do um, events and she came out to uh, Knob Hill Bar and Grill. It was Connie, so she called me and was like, hey, come have a drink with us or have, you know, dinner. So she said, it's just a bunch of nerdy engineers. You don't have to talk to them if you don't want to. And um, I told her, well, you're just down the street, so I'll come have dinner with you guys. And lo and behold, Murray was there and we started talking and by the end of the night he asked if I'd like to have dinner with him. It was really, really kind of, I don't know, right place, right time. Neither of us looking, just kind of happened, so. You ended up talking to an engineer? I did. Pretty nerdy one. Mm -hmm. and it has a little poem with it called Baby's Hanky Pillow, but my favorite piece was, you'll see the years pass swiftly, one day your child will be grown, then two pledge their marriage vows, I'm gonna start crying, uh, to start new lives of their own. A very happy wedding day sees the giving of golden rings, and I'll be the little pillow that the little ring bear brings. <laughs> We're very happy that Stephanie found her soulmate in Murray. Murray, welcome to the family. Marriage begins with the giving of words. We cannot join ourselves to one another without giving our word. And this must be an unconditional giving. I remember when Stephanie first told me that she had met Murray. She had the butterflies, the laughter, the overtelling of the same stories over and over because she was very smitten. I, Stephanie, take you, Murray, to be my husband in equal love, as a mirror of my true self, as a partner on my path, to honor and to cherish, in sorrow and in joy, till death parts us. I, Murray, take you, Stephanie, to be my wife in equal love, as a mirror for my true self, as a partner on my path to honor and to cherish, in sorrow and in joy, till death do us part. I have the honor of not only being able to call Stephanie one of my best friends, but I also have the honor of being the one who introduced Stephanie and Murray seven years ago. 
I never expected what seemed like such an insignificant event would lead to a significant event in two people's lives. So congratulations. Stephanie and Murray, I'm so honored that I could be a part of your once upon a time and now your happily ever after. I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with Stephanie. She's my best friend. Couldn't ask for a better person. <laughs> I wish both of you continued bliss. May your lives be filled with happiness. Once in a life you can find someone with whom you can cherish each instance, a moment never to be outdone as each passes into the distance. Stephanie, thank you for patiently dating Murray for this long before he finally proposed. I've been on Team Rivera since the first time I met her. I continue to be to this day. months we married off two daughters. Tonight's the last night I have to write checks. So here's to Murray and Stephanie. May you have a life of full health bars, plenty of experience points, and a great co-op campaign together. So there's your final achievement, starting a campaign co-op. The point is their anniversary date, so Murray doesn't forget.